Governor Brown has recognized this driest winter in California history by declaring a drought emergency. The Sierra snowpack is at 15 percent of its annual average, and that could leave Central Valley farmers with no allocation from water districts at all. Here's peach farmer Troy Regeer. There's a chance this year we will, from what I'm hearing, that we'll get no, we might get none. And that means more pumping, and like I say, the pumps are pumping less because the water table is going down. And it, it's scary because you have to go deeper, and the pump guys are already, there's already wells going dry last year. So if you're not in a good location that has a good access to your aquifer, or, you know, the depth, you, you have to go deeper, then you're, you could be on a waiting list, and you're, you can lose a lot of trees and fruit. Don Cantor runs the Florabella Farm west of Visalia. We're doing everything we can to use less water. We had to take out, we took out probably 40 or 50 uh, apple trees because they take too much water. We've never seen anything like this, and we're, we're scared, we're nervous, we do not know what our future is. We have choices as a people to make of where we're going to invest our, our billions of dollars. And we have to understand that we could invest locally in building a local supply um, that is resilient, that is an a smart water grid, if you will, if you can imagine a hundred, uh, sorry, a million homes or more, all connected, each with a small 5, 10, 20,000 gallon cistern, electronically networked, that could, um, you could move the water from the north down into them if necessary, but they're here to capture the rain that does fall. So had we... Okay, had we I, I, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you, Andy Lucas, the president and founder of Tree People, just because we need to couple of, cover a couple of other aspects uh, of this dry uh, uh, winter. The fire above Glendora is a prime example of what dry winter weather means for fire danger. Chief Ken Pimlot is director of Cal Fire. That's part of the State Department of Forestry and Conservation. Chief, good to have you on our program. Good afternoon. Uh, tell us how serious this is. I understand one of the problems is that everything is so dry, uh, and because it's the uh, the season for Santa Ana winds, the fires are moving faster than they do normally do. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, California is no uh, stranger to fires, particularly in Southern California, in the winter months. What's unique and, and really unprecedented this year is that statewide we are seeing, you know, after three years of uh, below normal rainfall, we're seeing fires burning um, with extreme intensity. Um, Obviously, the uh, fire this week in Los Angeles County, really traditional Santa Ana wind-driven fire, but also even without the wind, the, the, the dry fuel, the vegetation, was really fueling that fire uh, to the intensity that we would normally see in August. And obviously what adds to this this year is uh, in Northern California, um, we had a fire in Humboldt County, one of the wettest areas in the country. Up near the Oregon burned, border. Correct, and uh, not far from the coast. And it burned over 330 acres in the first week of January. That That is very telling for the kinds of conditions we're seeing across the state. What does this mean for the resources that California devotes to fighting fires? Uh, is it necessary to have more? Uh, are we going to run out? Where are we? Well, what it means is, of course, we normally staff, our peak staffing normally occurs between May and then November, early December. That's our traditional peak uh, fire season months. What this means for us is that we are bringing resources on early uh, to support that uh, additional workload that we would not normally have. So we, we have about 5,000 permanent personnel, mostly permanent firefighters. We are beginning to hire back seasonal firefighters in Northern California to help supplement uh, that. And then we actually have not laid off many of our seasonal firefighters at all in Southern California because the fire threat has just continued. Uh, So again, with the governor's uh, drought declaration, um, he has really lent his support uh, in that declaration uh, to include the firefighting resources that we need to meet this threat. So you've been doing this for a long time, trying to deal with fire, or you wouldn't be director of Cal Fire. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Honestly, my 30-year career as a firefighter, uh, I have not seen conditions like this in the state uh, like this before. Again, uh, Chief Ken Pilmot is the director of Cal Fire.